Hey guys, Armour Gun here today with the GM6 Lynx 50 cal semi-automatic bullpup and a few inches of shallow water. So I thought this is a really cool chance, an opportunity to visualize the terminal impact of bullets on a surface. And actually, this is probably a decent experiment to see actually how much, how that energy is, is imparted onto the surface. And I'm not really worried about it ricochet. It's only a few inches deep. There's just mud underneath it. So I think it's gonna do a good job of trapping the bullets. And uh, and it's pretty safe. I got miles of farmland around me. No farms in that direction. So we should be good to go. I get to take a play out of Demo Ranch's, you know, classic playbook. And we're going to step this thing up. We're going to start off with 22 long rifle, work our way up through the calibers, finish off with 50 BMG out of this thing, and uh, be able to see as we go how different weights and different velocities react differently with the water. So let's get at it. All right, I just finished shooting the 50 cal. Got uh, got some rounds here, still still cooking hot. Ooh. And uh, I just wanted to say, if nothing else, stay to the end, watch, or at least skip to the end, watch the 50 cal. It was super cool. I got some slow motion footage too, which looked out, which actually turned out decent. And uh, otherwise, everything else that actually was pretty cool to see how different weights and, and grains of bullets interact with the water. So again, this is taken after I shot everything. It's cool. Stick around or don't. You know, it's it's a free world out there. Also, wash your hands, stay safe. All right, let's kick things off with a little Ruger SR-22. So this is a 40 grain bullet traveling at about 1,200 feet per second. All right, let's step it up to nine mil. Here we got a BRS-99, the Polish Uzi. And no, unfortunately, this is not a suppressor. This is just a ridiculous barrel shroud covering an even more ridiculous 18.6 inch barrel to meet uh, Canada's SBR laws. So it's not an SBR. So now we're, we're 115 grain projectile going at about the same speed again, about 1200 feet per second, 115 grain. Let's, uh, let's see how she goes. Oh, that's very different. Quite a noticeable difference there again. All right, so let's bust out a mare's leg. Here we got a 44 takedown by Kiapa. This thing is pretty sweet. Do the little old uh, flip cock. Uh, she was unloaded for that, by the way. But let's toss in a round of 44 Magnum. This is now 240 grains, traveling at 1,230 feet per second. So we're basically doubling, more than doubling, the weight of the projectile, the weight of the bullet from the nine mil. And we're going about the same speed, so. There we go. That's a bit goofy. All right, let's see what she does. Oh, we got chunks on that one. So that's that's 44. I felt that a little bit. Ooh. All right, so next up we got the Tavor in 5.56. This is a 62 grain metal core. And, uh, and that stuff's rocking almost 3,000 feet per second. So let's, let's see this now. So now we're like two and a half times the speed, but only, well, a fifth of the quarter of the bullet weight of the last one. So we're seeing, ah. That's, that's a pretty good splash. That's a pretty good splash. Get a second camera angle there and some slow-mo. Ah, so we, uh, we got a Mark 14 here now. This thing is pretty, pretty rad, 308. So now we're stepping up to, well, it's actually 7.62 by 51. This is 147 grain crap surplus, but this gun should run it. And so now we're going, well, more than double the, uh, double the weight of the bullet. And we're still pretty much the same speed. So let's, uh, let's, let's see what she looks like. All right. Okay. So this is, uh, I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to get wet here at this one. Got some big chunks and it's raining. It's raining. I, had a, I saw a brief rainbow there. That was pretty cool. All right, so looking uh, looking nice and mean with his AccuTac bipod as well. Man, that's a gorgeous gun. If you guys want to learn more, I'm going to do this as a gun of the week here real swift. Oh man, that thing is awesome. Cool. All right, I think it's high time we got a shotgun on here, some 12 gauge. Got the Benelli M4. That stock out. 
Oh, I love this oversized charging handle. I guess I got one in the, in the tray here. Now we're good to go. Hoorah, send one into Mr. TA Target, steal Target there. Hoorah, all right. Let's see what this thing does to the water. Oh, rainbow, you see that? Oh, it's awesome. Brick, this thing is fun. If you guys haven't shot a Nibidillium 4 before, oh, you guys definitely gotta give it a go. This thing is freaking fun. All right, now time for the 50. All right, just because I forgot to mention it, the 12 gauge that was just seven and a half, you know, target shot, traveling at about 1200 feet per second. So that's uh, pretty effective stuff at close range, far away, that would look like nothing. And uh, 50 BMG, so let's, let's do it. Now we're at 660 grains, traveling at, again, high 200s, close to 3000 feet per second. This is nuts. All right, a little bit. A little bit scared. Let's uh, let's uh, send it here. Big splash. Holy shit! One more. Oh man, she's raining. Jeez. Well, I guess let's uh, let's see if we can see some of that in slow mo. Oh man, that was freaking awesome. I didn't expect it to actually like blow out the water like that. You can actually see the crater. Oh, that was super cool. So this is uh, the Lynx taking a bit of a break. Well-earned break that was awesome and you didn't hit me or anything else. That's also always really good. I didn't even get much mud on me. So definitely a win. Anyways, this is kind of a weird video for me. I haven't done many videos like this before apart from the one-handed shooting video where I attempted to shoot that thing one-handed. If you liked this type of content, please uh, let me know in the comments below. I will do some more fun stuff uh, with the links and with other stuff as we go. Otherwise, stay tuned for your weekly gun of the week, you know, in-depth reviews. I'm gonna start adding a gear of the week video as I did last week with the Olight and, uh, and then uh, probably an accessorizing a gun, kind of kitting out a gun Gucci style once a week as well. That was kind of a fun video. Yesterday was the first time I did that as well and that was also pretty cool. So anyways, let me know what you think, and uh, yeah, peace out, Arm and Gun, out. And for all you guys that stuck around to the bitter end, we're going to run another 10 rounds through the Tavor, that 5.56, five, we're going to do some slow motion right in there, it's going to be awesome. The slow motion with the 50 was just too cool not to do a bit more. Like five seconds, 10 seconds later, stuff is still dripping down from the tree. Oh, that was awesome. And I definitely got muddy on that one. So anyways, that's it for realsies. Arm and gun, out.